please write this down as a subtopic still under the law of relationships the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers mark chapter 2 please very quickly for reference mark chapter 2 will start from verse 1 mark chapter 2 and verse 1 the bible says and again he entered into capernaum after some days and it was noise that he was in the house follow carefully verse 2 and straightway many were gathered together in so much that there was no room to receive them no not so much about the door and he preached the word unto them so a crusade is happening here now and then the bible says and they come unto him bringing one sick of the palsy which was born of four that means he was carried by four men a man who was sick paralyzed but he was carried by four men look at this and when they could not come nigh unto him jesus now for the press they uncovered the roof where he was and when they had broken it up they let down the bed wherein the sick of the palsy lay the full text is from verse 1 to 12 watch this can you imagine the level of determination they said jesus is in town and four men came together they said mr man you are crippled you cannot walk but we insist you must receive your miracle the bible says they took him they if they had dropped him there they would have tried this brings me to the definition of destiny helpers please write who are they who are this group of people called destiny helpers destiny helpers are men and women equipped empowered ordained and assigned by god again men and women equipped empowered ordained and assigned by god to help you fulfill your destiny and to take you to the next level in life men and women equipped empowered ordained and assigned by god to help you fulfill your destiny and to take you to the next level powerful destiny helpers they are not just freelance helpers they are men ordained please listen men equipped empowered ordained and assigned by god to help you fulfill your destiny and to take you to the next level i've said it here and i will repeat it is true that it is god that blesses it is god that lifts but god blesses men through men all blessings come from god through men to men your promotion comes from god through men to men the open doors from god through men to men the restoration from god through men to men it is god that lifts but he uses men now according to scripture there are four types of destiny helpers and in the name of jesus i pray that your life will experience all four and i pray that god will make you all four in the name of jesus are you ready please walk with me very quickly number one for the sake of time divine connectors the first kind and the first type of destiny helpers are called divine connectors you find that in second kings chapter 5 i may not read it for reference just write the story of naaman and the little slave girl the bible says there was a man who was the captain of the syrian army the bible says he was a valiant man in war but he was a leper and then one time when they brought the slaves from war there was a little slave girl who served his wife and one day she said oh that my lord would go down there is a prophet here and there and then one thing led to the other cut the long story short after a few chapters we find that naaman is now completely whole divine connectors do not have the power to help you directly but they can lead you to those who have what it takes to help you now you have to understand this divine connectors may not have the ability in themselves to help you they may not be able to pray for you to be healed they may not be able to give you a job 
but they have the power to connect you somebody know somebody know somebody who god can use to lift you the key to receiving from divine connectors is meekness and discernment because they will always come in forms that may not be desirable a divine connector respectfully speaking may be a bus conductor he may just hand you a little advert of a crusade happening and you are just looking at the boy and laughing he may not even know what he gave you suddenly you find out that a man of god is coming to town and you remember my mother is dying in the hospital that divine connector lets you know that a crusade is happening you take mama to that crusade ground that becomes not only her miracle but the transformation of the whole family now we live in a world that prides around packaging we should be excellent but we live in a world where the moment you don't have a persona and a form that seems to look like you are succeeding people can demean you this is why many people keep passing their divine helpers every day because they are looking for people who carry the persona sometimes it may not be so your divine helper can be your your divine connector can be your child speaking nonsense every day but one day the Holy Ghost will speak through him and that one counsel will be what will save you there are businesses today under pressure there are ministries under pressure and in the midst of all that there are divine helpers divine connectors every day moving left right and center is God helping us that's why we must be discerning as we deal with people don't demean people you may be throwing away the next 10 years of your life four men came and held that man and said you must see jesus do you know that some of the greatest evangelist pastors around the globe some of the people who got them born again are still alive but nobody knows about them but if they did not save those people or lead those people to a place where god would touch them we would not hear of them today please discern divine connectors that every day of your life i assure you there's someone god is bringing to your life to your office now i know this is a very sensitive um a very sensitive discussion because we live in evil times there are some of you who have tried to reach out to evil people and paid the price as a result they would come and carry a form of meekness and some of them are terrorists some of them are evil people may God separate them from your life in Jesus name many armed robbers have come like beggars they came and pleaded and said please can I you give me food to eat while you just want to help them so we need sensitivity that's why i said you need discernment but i tell you this divine connectors are real somebody knows somebody who knows somebody who has what you are praying for the answer to your prayer has left heaven is with men are we blessed number two the second kind or type of destiny helpers that we need they are called men of access and influence it's good to have divine connectors but sometimes you need the people who have the resources the credibility the track record directly men of access and influence who are they these are men who through the sacrifice their sacrifice and their diligence they have become captains of industry they have become gatekeepers to realms they have the credibility they have the endorsement they have the goodwill of people let me tell you this in this kingdom one of the ways that god favors us and advances us is through the endorsement the good speaking of credible people there are times that you have the grace you have the certificate you can take the contract but you do not have what it takes to stand at the gate 
Yet, you will need someone who is already at the gate to speak for you. Joseph could interpret dreams, but he needed someone who could stand and speak for him. In this case, you need men and women who have paid the price. Can I tell you this? It is the absence of this in our lives. That's why many gifted people remain grounded. Are we together? There are many powerful worshippers in this nation. There are many powerful men of God in this nation. There are many powerful potential CEOs. But the gatekeepers have not seen you enough to extend the right hand of fellowship. Please hear what I'm saying. One man of influence can use his influence and credibility. Just sign behind his card. Please help this man signed so 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 and so that's it and while you are there speaking english they tell you please go away i'm helping you not because of what you are saying this man helped me so 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 time <laughs> a very a very a very interesting discussion back then in zaria there was a very interesting story the former emir i was told that one time someone wanted to go to NDA, the Nigerian Defense Academy now. And then for some reason, he did not meet the height requirement. So he, he was disqualified. And someone went to meet the Emir and said, look, this man, we want him to become a soldier. And now he's been disqualified. And the Emir said they should go and tell the commandants that the Emir has added his height. That's a powerful revelation. I've increased your height to the requirements they want. You know what that means to the person who... Uh, ah, may God bring a man of influence your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me tell you this. Difficult things become very easy when credible people speak for you. Everybody respects somebody. help this person that's it oh my daughter has been looking for a job my son has been looking for a job really why didn't you tell me okay you come that's it please do not undermine the power of people's credibility and track record there are people who have spent years establishing their track record around industries around businesses even in ministry one genuine endorsement from a credible person can end hardship completely from your life are we blessed men of access and influence number three the third kind of destiny helper still discussing the law of relationships they are called gifted people gifted people sometimes you just need skillful and talented people men and women who will use their gifts their talents and their skill to help you accomplish God's purpose. First Samuel chapter 16, please, from verse 17 to 21. Men who will use their gifts, their skills, their talents to help you accomplish your divine purpose. We're reading to verse 21. Now look at this, please. The Bible says, And Saul said unto his servants, Provide me now a man that can play well. Some versions say can play skillfully and bring him to me. 18. Then answered one of the servants and said, Behold, I have seen a son of Jesse, the Bethlehemite, that is cunning in playing, and a mighty valiant man, and a man of war, and prudent in matters, and a comely person. What a description. And the Bible says, and the Lord is with him. 19. Wherefore Saul sent messengers unto Jesse and said, Send me David thy son, which is with the sheep. 20. And Jesse took the ass laden with bread and a bottle of wine and a kid and sent them by David his son unto Saul. Last verse. And David came to Saul and stood before him and he loved him greatly and he became his armor bearer the lifting power of skill before you pray that God will bring great people to you 
please do well to work on yourself so that shame and reproach will be far from you so that when you step into the corridors of greatness you will not be sent back in shame praying that God will bring great people to you without refining your gifts will only recycle pain and recycle unpleasant seasons in your life are we together sharpen your gifts sharpen your skill now you can pray father i've done my homework i've taken advantage of your grace i've engaged myself meaningfully now let the helpers come when they come and place a demand you're trusting god for a contract for instance millions billions do your work well so that the day they call you they will call you and say prove yourself and in 10 minutes they say you are the one we are looking for come can i tell you this excellence and competence is a language there are people who can speak it and there are people who understand it many of us are mediocre in many ways i say this with every sense of responsibility the goal is to challenge us in africa especially we the generation of young people god is helping us we have zeal but we we the ability to stay and become skillful There are great companies today having turnovers in billions of dollars and some of them do not have up to 20 staff. They don't have a staff strength of up to 20 but one of their staff can be equal to 100 others. Skillful and gifted people. I'm telling you it's one of the blessings that God has given in this ministry. The gift of gifted people. The kinds of minds, the levels of intelligence, intellectual infrastructure that in this is in this ministry is amazing it's easy to credit every result to me but you will be surprised to know that my work is largely oversight there are intelligent people that God has blessed me with you are a CEO you are a leader of all sorts please go to God and cry send me genuine people send me gifted people one gifted person can take your company to heights unimagined one gifted person can take your church your ministry to heights unimagined are we together gifted people skilled people number four very quickly the last kind or type of destiny helpers we need they are called burden bearers burden bearers these are trusted and faithful people who will stay with you through storms will stay with you through challenges until your glory is revealed there are times in your life where you need men and women who stay they stay through the rain they stay through the storms they pray with you they fast with you many companies today who have raised people, blessed people. The moment the companies go through any kind of unpleasant season, everybody just runs away and leaves them. Let me tell you this. Woe betides a man who looks left and right in your days and your times of storm and will not find at least one person standing by you. The world is full of psychophants, but there are genuine people. There are genuine people who love you sincerely. My first prayer is may you be one of such. And then may you receive the ministry of such. Don't just pray for burden bearers until you are prepared to be one. Burden bearers are not looking for your crown. They are looking for the cross. Where is the cross you cannot carry? So let's take it together. Burden bearers are not those who stand with you. They are those who die with you. When Jesus was hanging on that cross, ladies and gentlemen, this 33-year-old gentleman who had turned the world upside down, where were the 5,000 aside men and children who ate his bread and his fish? Where was the woman with the issue of blood? Jesus is on his way to Golgotha and not one of them was there to say, Jesus, if they are killing you, they should kill me. Only John and his mother. Certain men came to David in the cave of Adullam when he was running away from Saul. And the Bible says they bound themselves with an oath that they will not rest until they make him king. You come and meet a man hiding. Is that the kind of leader you want? And they said, we'll stay with you till you win, till you thrive, till you rise, and you will rule over us. 
burden bearers every church needs genuine burden bearers every man of God needs genuine burden bearers every businessman CEO needs genuine burden bearers there are people today who are bereaved and you would be surprised to know that most of the people they raised and lifted would not have the courtesy to say I remember in 1991 you were there for me no. there are many politicians today who are not in government in truth when some of them were in power they helped many people they lifted many people but now that it looks like there's no political prospect again many people leave oh what a shame listen you must be able to trust someone enough with your life and say no matter what it is we're standing here we're not standing to win we're standing by covenant are we together yes burden bearers when jesus was on his way to golgotha he turned bleeding and he did not see anyone and there was a gentleman called simon of cyrene he said i will carry that cross with you and he carried the cross down to Golgotha. It's my prayer that you will find someone in your life who can call you and say, now that your dad is gone, now that your mom is gone, how have you been faring? And you are saying, my God. He says, every month I will call at least once to find out that you are doing well. And first you suspect because human beings are selfish and he said no 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 strings attached i made up my mind bazanji soropa temakona bazanji kunyaba listen some of you whilst you are seated here listening to me especially some of you that god has helped to be senior executives or you are leaders in some sort what i'm saying now is is getting to you because i'm bringing memories you are now remembering it is true the company folded up and everybody went away things began to happen your health began to deteriorate and all the people who would come oh you are king of kings you are lord of lords but i can tell you one thing i have learned this by experience i have learned this through mentorship and i have learned this through scripture there are real burden bearers you don't generalize and think everyone is a psychophant everyone is fake there are people who will cry with you there are people who will pray with you you will say go and they say to where an example of such people was Ruth to Naomi your God will be my God your people will be my people as a result she married Boaz are we blessed tonight divine connectors connecting you to those who can help you men of influence and access using their credibility to endorse you gifted people making things happen within your organization your ministry your life helping kingdom come happen for you and then burden bearers those ones may not move you forward but they stop you from going back while others are standing in front of you clapping for you they are the ones who pray for you when you do not know they pray they fast for you when you are not seeing them some of them do not even know you but they stand to pray are you okay now please don't feel bad i respond to an average of six to seven hundred text messages every day and most of them are full of people who have needs and i'm sent to them but every once in a while in the maze of the many text messages with the needs please i'm not putting you under pressure to do it not at all you would find someone who just says apostle how are you i'm not calling for prayer i just want to find out are you okay you've been busy you've been traveling around and i may not even know them 
but I look at those text messages and I bless them from my heart for being so thoughtful because sometimes you see when God sends you people forget that you are a man you are only of God a father of faith in Enugu called me into his office and he said apostle let me tell you something Africans kill their prophets be careful There are many of you who are insulting your parents, insulting your loved ones, insulting your CEO. Do you know why he's been behaving this way? Maybe he's had losses. Maybe he's lost his loved ones. Maybe his marriage is tearing apart. People may not tell you what they are going through. But you must give room and give allowance. There must be a reason. In any case, let us pray. Let us pray. I don't know why my husband has been acting up like this. He may not tell you. Great men don't just open up carelessly. It's not weakness. They have been trained to be strong. They are storm riders. So they keep quiet even while they are dying. Why are you not eating this food, my husband? I don't have the appetite. There is the war on his head. It's out of love he will not tell you. It's not like he's hiding things from you. And then you go and pray and say, Lord, I don't know what may be happening to my husband. But when I came into his life, I did not just come as a wife. I also came as a priest. Now I remove that regale of wifehood. I put my robe as a priest. Lord, protect this man. Lord, bless him. I may not know what may be happening. And battles, victories, victories upon victories. Hallelujah. Joseph was a burden bearer before an interpreter of dreams. He looked at the countenance of people in the prison. He would have said, young people, we are here for a long time. You better smile. But he looked at them. He said, no, something is wrong with your countenance. Even though I am a prisoner, I am concerned. What may be the problem? Then they said their dreams. Pazanji soropa te makona Bazanji kunyaba Burden bearers It's been seven years and you do not have a child and everyone is saying you must confess how you got married we must get to know now and someone comes to you and says I don't want to know what the doctor said I will hold your hand and we will die here until we see the promises of God come and whilst you are sleeping a scripture comes they send you a scripture by text he keeps them in perfect peace and that's just the scripture you need listen to me don't just pray that God will send them be the them first Lord, make me a burden bearer. There has to be somebody in your life that you are able to stand with and say, I'm standing with you. A great politician in this nation lost election. When he lost election, more than 90% of all his calls and relationships vanished within hours including people who were praising him 24 hours before all gone it's painful to look around and not find where are they where are those who ate your bread where are those who said you are king over us there are parents today who are in pain because they look at their children and they find out that in old age having spent time spent resources raising them in old age unable to move bound to a wheelchair these children push them around and mama looks and says do you know what i went through to give birth to you and they speak all kinds of english and push them away the blessing of one who is in pain is a real blessing because he has nothing to protect 
let me give you an advice when someone who is in pain blesses you it comes from the depth of their prophetic construction because they've cried in they've cried away every hypocrisy they've cried away every stage management I've had the honor and the privilege to cry with a few people and it was such a blessing that God granted me grace to be there for them relationships you cry with someone today tomorrow God lifts that person and he looks at you and says I remember are you not so 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 and so thank you for standing by me in 2000 I thought I would not make it because I lost my father my mother thank you after two years you were still checking up on me what do you do now things are going bad do you have a house no come and collect the keys to a brand new house tomorrow and people say you are lucky lucky don't you know that being there for people is an investment an investment with real returns you can list it among your businesses what do you do for a living real estate and i'm there for people only a fool will laugh at you a man will pay his staff hundred thousand two hundred thousand per month but he will give a burden bearer his heart take not money now you know what happens when you stand in for the gospel you understand what he was saying who will go for us and isaiah says lord i'm here i don't know what will happen on the way while i go i may die on the way but i'm here for you you see why there is the matthias crown the matthias is the one who finished strong even at death are we blessed the law of relationships so when you are praying and say lord send me helpers of destiny you know what you are praying now send me divine connectors send me men of influence send me gifted people but in all your sending oh god also send me burden bearers send me burden bearers Are we blessed the law of relationships this is the world of men if you know God that is priceless but you must know men the system by which spiritual things are translated into your results here and now after this service go back and study again get this teaching and listen to it you can find it online it's free listen to it make decisions Go and meet your boss by tomorrow and say, Sir, I just came to bless you. What for? He's used to psycho fans coming. And you say, No, I'm not asking for anything. I just came to say thank you. Um, I notice you get very busy. I bought a pack of water just to say thank you. Okay, 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 go away. It's not true. No man has immunity against genuine love and kindness. No man. Our pride will make us pretend as if we, it didn't create any effect. It's not true. The day of reckoning is coming. He will remember you. When someone wants to recommend you to be downsized, the owner of the company will say, remove me from the company before you remove that person. Who can speak for you when you are not there? Plant memories of your kindness in the minds of people not just those who have risen but those who are rising those who have risen you've already seen the height but those who are rising believe in people when younger ministers come to meet me sometimes they are afraid when they come this is the apostle and i just give them a big hug how are you oh we have a small fellowship 12 people and they are ashamed of saying it and then i remind them i said do you know how many we were our first crusade And they are so healed by that statement they are so comforted by it and I tell them how are you doing give me a high five and they are wondering is this the man that I watch online is this the man I watch on TV no there is nothing to us by ourselves it is the excellency of the power and the grace of God that works in us and that young man lives with confidence and courage and he says I can make it then I can make it 
let people not leave you and say god just kill me after what happened now just no nobody has the monopoly of increase and exploits and impact god is the lifter of us all you must believe in people enough that's leadership discern potentials invest in it not to receive something necessarily but so that you rise we've had the privilege of lifting so many people today and such a joy and an honor every time i have the opportunity to see them rising and doing well i'm happy have you learned something tonight the law of relationships be fruitful means be relational you are a ceo of a company one day surprise your staff call all of them and just say gentlemen let me steal out 10 minutes from your time how are you all doing and they are all serious because they are afraid they've been hearing rumors that they will sack everybody they are behaving well and you say no not that may god just bless you i just wanted you to know that i am grateful for having very great staff like you thank you we're moving our company forward the numbers are showing we're making progress and i'm the face that people see but i want you people to know that you are partakers not just of the shame but of the glory thank you they will stop being staff they will become family the one who was stealing in secret will repent without you knowing he will go back and say why steal because that sense of inheritance has been given to him we have to move god bless you it's a season where you have to engage your faith in the place of prayer ensuring that the fire for prayer at your altar do not burn low like paul spoke to timothy in first timothy chapter 1 verse 18 he said you that by knowledge you've known the prophecy that has been given over your life he said having that knowledge is an advantageous reason why you must engage them in warfare so by warfare we bet prophecy by warfare we bring to pass that which has been spoken over our life i would like you to engage the word of the lord which you've heard via his servant apostle Joshua selman on this platform at body stream engage those words with prayer engage it with prayer it stirs up your faith it ensures that it brings you to the perfect will of the lord brings you to the perfect reality of the lord and don't forget that this year you must live a praying life ensure prayer becomes your lifestyle so that the purposes and counsel of the lord finds fullest expression in your life on this platform we like you to share this message to others and so that they become partakers of what God is doing per season and per second. Don't forget to subscribe if you're a new viewer and also hit the notification bell so as to stay in touch with our daily uploads. God bless you.